Our problem statement is that the students in developing countries like India get insufficient time and training to develop their programming skills because of typical syntaxes and non-interactive idea of well-known languages. We intend to solve this problem by the help of our code story ID. The code story is a self-explanatory, visually attractive and impelling programming language designed especially for the children of age group 10 to 15 years. On opening our application ID, you reach the home page of code story. The most important feature of our ID is that it is user friendly. We will now discuss the various features that make our ID user friendly and interactive. To begin with, the icons in the home page are big, self explanatory, and easy to access, which describes the basic operations like open, save, execute, cut, copy, paste, etc. The status bar displays one line information about different components. To start programming, click on the new item. A colorful and attractive code window opens. Our application ID provides multitasking that is simultaneously a number of code windows can be opened and work upon. A new code window always open with a different color shade carefully chosen to appeal the eyes. Let's start programming. Suppose if a student types a letter I in the code window, all the keywords starting from I appear in a drop down list. To use a particular keyword, they scroll to it and press enter or double click it. Instead of typing the entire word, which not only saving the time, but also avoids syntactical errors. This feature is known as auto-completion. Simultaneously on the right hand side, a resizable help window gives the information of the keyword. It automatically selects the best matching function or keyword and displays the syntax, function definition and a simple example to help the student understand the uses of function or keyword. Here we write in teaser. As you can see, syntax of code story is very simple. There is no need to write semicolon after every statement, neither use curly braces after while loop, etc. Also in our IDE, we use syntax coloring to help the user to differentiate between keywords and identifiers. Let us demonstrate a simple program that writes 1 to 10 in random colors. As can be seen, the function explained themselves. The pen color is changed to a random color within the loop and right lines write the content to the screen. Another important feature of a code story is error detection. Suppose a mistake was done while writing the code. Say for example, the bracket of right line was not closed. Let's see what happens when we run this program. To run the program, click on the run icon or use the shortcut key F5. It allows the user to execute the code written in the code window while also displaying the progress of execution. Error is then displayed in the same code window with the line number and a small description of error. Hovering the cursor over an error displays more information about it and how to resolve it. Double clicking on an error highlights the line in which error has occurred. This feature helps the student to know about the common errors and how to correct it. After the correction of error, rerun the program using run button. Output is seen in the output window which prints number from 1 to 10 in random colors. Moving on to the next feature of our ID, Sample Program. Sample programs give the student the idea of syntaxes in a variety of programs and a lot of code to experiment with it. Click on Sample icon. These are the list of sample programs. They demonstrate from the fundamental concepts like if, loop, to the advanced graphical functions like Cracker. Let's see one graphic sample program, Crackers with Code. Run this program. You can see a beautiful output of cracker explosion coming along with sound, which motivates the student to develop these kind of more programs. Now we are moving towards the tutorial. To start the tutorials, click on the tutorial icon. These animated tutorials aid the students to learn the basic concept of code programming in a fascinating manner. Another important part is how to use our IDE. For this, just click on introduction to IDE icon, which helps you how to use icon, help, tutorial, etc. in our IDE in a simple and interesting way. Here is the reference list.